Hello and welcome to Scale War Machines. As part of our series looking at the best tank museums in the world, we were lucky enough to be invited to the Military Vehicle Technology Foundation in the USA. Here's our report on a must-see collection. The foundation is located in sunny California, on America's west coast. It's a popular tourist destination with plenty to see and many visitors. So if you are taking in the sights of California, why not head for this museum? It's located on a private estate because this is a private collection, amassed over decades by the late owner, Mr. Jack Littlefield. We visited in September and our guide was Chris Toadman Hughes, who has a long-standing relationship with the Foundation. I've been with the Military Vehicle Technology Foundation since uh, 2009. Uh, my first visit here as a tourist, per se, a visitor, was in 2001. Just enjoyed myself. It was just breathtaking. I've been in military vehicles, photography, and model building since I was a child. So to be able to come up and see something like this was just fantastic. Come 2009, with the passing of Mr. Lillfield, I uh, immediately made myself available as a volunteer for any and everything that was needed here. One thing's for sure, for a private collection, the inventory is massive and second to none. The largest private collection of its type in the world. Um, we have over 200 armored vehicles, um, some artillery pieces, um, a few trucks. Mr. Littlefield was primarily interested in collecting things that were more uncommon, so you're not gonna see a lot of deuce and a halves or jeeps here. roughly 60 plus tanks, two Scud missile launchers, not just one, but two. We got a BMW R75 sidecar combo, a Kettenkrat, there's also a Stug 3G. Vehicles are sometimes in their original condition as if they rolled off the motor pool, some are still unrestored, others are almost like factory new. And when it comes to picking a favourite highlight, that can be pretty difficult. There's so many things. Um, the Panther A that's behind me, the jewel of the collection, that's just fantastic, especially after watching it, um, seeing pretty much when it arrived here in the condition it was in, which was just atrocious, to where it is now, nearly 100% complete. There's a Sherman Jumbo. Um, which was the assault gun version of the Sherman. There are only 254 built, about seven of them left, and ours is nearly complete. And it's just one of the ultimate Shermans. And I mean, it could go on from there. There's just so many. Jack Littlefield began collecting in earnest four decades ago. During the 70s and 80s, a lot of vehicles um, were coming in from overseas. And with the end of the Cold War, um, you know, especially with the disarmament treaties, a lot of stuff became available from Eastern Europe. So um, at one point, vehicles were coming in here constantly every couple months. For model makers, the foundation is a valuable resource. I model, I've been building models for off and on for 40 years. It's hard to find a place with so many different vehicles that are in really good condition. You know, some restorations are just guys fabricate stuff just to make it look good. But here, they were doing the work to get it like new. Or again, if it came off the motor pool, they left it as it is. So authenticity-wise, especially for the you know, rivet counters, you're gonna be able to get the details you need. Even model manufacturers are regular visitors. We've had a few model companies up here in the past. Uh, one of the primaries has been Tamiya. Their U.S. headquarters is located about six, seven hours south of here. So even back in the 1990s, because this collection was one of the biggest of its kind, even back then, um, to me it would send representatives out. If they're interested in a particular vehicle back in Japan, they're looking for references, they know that this is one of the places to go. Here it's really easy for them to come up and they'll send um, a crew up here to spend all day or however much time is needed to take photographs and measurements. So how easy is it to actually visit? We're not open to the public, so any visits have to be arranged ahead of time. 
Model makers can uh, visit the foundation's website, www.mvtf.org, and they can email our staff members and they can make arrangements to come up to photograph, measure, whatever they need to do. And when it comes to visiting, here's all you need to know. If you're a scale modeler and you want to come up as a hobbyist, you can usually come up just with one of the regular tours. You need the time to take details, shots, or measurements of a specific vehicle. Um, you would have to come up on your own, away from a tour, and there'll be a little bit more of a charge on that as opposed to the regular tour. But all that would be available through the website or contacting one of our staff members. We're here in Northern California. Um, we're located between San Francisco and San Jose, roughly halfway in between. If you're coming in from San Francisco, which is north of us, you can expect um, about a 45 minute car ride. It's well worth a detour, and we recommend you make time to visit. I call this the tank mecca. If you're a scale modeler, this is something you want to check out. You gotta come here. So if you find yourself in California, make sure you head to the Military Vehicle Technology Foundation. Bye for now.